Hi there, this is Paola with Bark. You're probably watching this video because you already ordered a Bark phone and boxed it and are looking to set it up for your kids. I'm here to help you with that first time activation of the Bark phone, so let's get started. The Bark phone box you received in the mail looks like this. It comes with the phone, the Bark SIM card pre-inserted, and a USB-C charging cable. If the phone arrived with a low charge, go ahead and plug it in while we work on setting it up. Then turn on the phone by holding the side button found near the volume buttons. You'll know you turned it on when you see the Samsung logo in that in the boot up. Eventually you'll land here, the default Samsung home screen. Wait a few minutes for the phone to settle in though. It's gonna be installing needed updates during that first boot up. During this time, make sure the phone is connected to mobile data and if possible Wi-Fi by sliding your finger down from the top twice. When it's blue, it's enabled. No, enable mobile data even if you're on the Wi-Fi only plan, as you'll need the mobile data setting enabled for texts and location features on the Bark phone. Eventually, a setup QR code appears on the Bark phone. Use your parent phone's camera to scan the QR code shown on the Bark phone. Or, if the scanning of the QR code doesn't go as expected, you could just go to bar phone.bark.us on a browser on your parent phone. If you're getting an error here, check that you're logged into the Bark account used to order the phone. If you've checked that and are still getting an error when scanning the QR code, contact our human support team at help at bark.us and include pictures or videos of the issue. When you've successfully scanned the QR code, we're gonna continue the setup via your parent phone. If you've bought the device from a third party like Amazon, you'll see prompts for creating a Bark account and picking your data plan. Afterwards, you'll see a prompt to set up Wi-Fi on your kid's Bark phone. And on your child's device, you may even see this pop-up here where it asks if they want to connect to Wi-Fi right now. If you don't see it, you probably already connect the phone to Wi-Fi and can move on. But otherwise, clicking yes leads them right to the Wi-Fi connection screen. And you can also find it in the settings app. Pro tip, if you filter your home internet with a Bark Home device, you may want to make sure that the phone Mac is selected in the advanced connection settings so that it's easier to identify the device on your list of Bark devices later. Now that you've connected to Wi-Fi, you can click on the parent device that you've done so, and then it should automatically open the Bark Kids app on the Bark phone. On the parent device, you'll be asked to set settings for the Bark phone. This will look a little bit different if you're on the starter plan because the starter plan has no app stores, game apps, etc. Just calling and texting, as well as location and contact approval features. On the advanced plans, I can choose to enable the app store or disable it. I can choose to set up contact approval or disable it. So you have a lot more customizability and data on those advanced plans. Don't worry, you can change these settings and your plan at any time. Just remember that changes take up to a few minutes to take effect. Now, when I'm done with those initial settings, I'll see my kid's phone number on the next page. I can click the little copy symbol to copy it to my clipboard and add it to my contacts. I can also click add to contacts and it'll save it as a little contacts file uh, known as a VCF file. Once you click next, that concludes the first time setup of the Bark phone. You'll land on your regular Bark parent dashboard You'll see there's a Bark phone tile now under your child. And when you click on it, you'll see these options for some quick shortcuts to settings that relate to managing rules for the Bark phone. Check out our other videos for tips on using those settings and features. In the meantime, explore your Bark Parent dashboard. Add additional kids, even if they don't own the Bark phone, to our Bark protections. Cause you have the Bark premium subscription plan included with your purchase of the Bark phone. So unlimited kids and unlimited devices can be added. You can also tap on your kid's monitoring tile to connect more accounts and devices for additional coverage. Or tap on your kid's location tile to see where the Bark phone is at any given time and set locations to be alerted to. There's so much to discover in your Bark dashboard. If you need any additional assistance not covered by our videos, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.